welcome back guys thank you for being here this is another system one of my closest members eric he is an ultra hi-fi member he's been a supporting person from the beginning from the early stages on my youtube channel and i am it's a pleasure first of all to be here in his home okay i am here with the intent of number one listening to what he's put together and number two to see what changes and adjustments i can make to a system to really take it to another level so I want to go over really quick um, over the room and the electronics that Eric has, okay? So Eric, your room is approximately what size? It's approximately 18 wide, 25 deep, and eight and a half high. So let's take a look at all the treatment. I mean, he went all out, guys. Diffusers, absorbers. I mean, he's got everything. The room is absolutely phenomenal. Dead quiet in here. So I'm telling you right now, if you guys are going to start saying things such as... Uh, the room has too much uh, echo. I can assure you, it does not have any echo in here, okay? It might be the distance between me and the microphone of the, you know, my phone, but there is absolutely no echo here, okay? This room is solid, okay? Now, he right now has the Magical S3 MK2s, okay? He's had them for about two years, so he's absolutely well, well, um acquainted with the sound and what the speakers are capable of doing okay we got shinyara sigma version 2 cables okay and we have of course my beloved 2160 from boulder along with the best measuring pre-amplifier in the history of stereophile magazine the boulder 2110 okay two components that i have always been raving about and he bought these two from me. Uh, and that said, I'm telling you right now, you can't have the amplifier without the pre-amplifier. I can assure you that does not work. If you get a Boulder amplifier, you got to spend the money and buy the matching pre-amplifier. I'm telling you right now, listen to what I'm saying. You must do that. Okay. Eric is using at the moment some REL special edition Carbon subs. Specials, carbon specials. So the carbon special subs, if you notice, they are actually firing towards the back, the wall behind the speakers, okay? So he's been doing a lot of work here, uh, dialing in the subs. Now, unfortunately, okay, in case you guys are wondering, it's a very difficult thing to dial in subs, okay? You need to do it by ear, and it takes a ton of work. It is painful almost because you have to listen, adjust, Listen some more, adjust, and see if actually there was any sort of positive improvement. Sometimes you might even get confused and realize, I don't think it got better. Let me go back to square one and start all over again. So that's one of the things that is very painful when it comes to doing this entire blend of speakers with subs. Now, that's not something that I have done. I may do it in 2023. I'm not sure yet. Um, but overall, of course, let's not forget the source. The Esoterics SACD, which model is this, Eric? K01XD. Okay, so, and my Strong Tank, <laughs> the 2500 Strong Tank MK2, okay? So, appreciate you getting all these things that I've been raving about, the Boulder gear, the Strong Tank gear, magical loudspeakers, of course. Uh, I, I, I feel like I, I'm actually at home, to be honest with you, with all these electronics, okay? So, what is the intent here? What am I doing here, if you're wondering? What I'm going to be doing is, first of all, I'm going to be listening to the system the way he has it, playing these CDs. Let me show you what I had him get, okay, because he does not stream yet. I plan to change that real soon, okay? So, as you can see, these are the typical songs or CDs, albums that I play on my YouTube channel, okay? And, of course, this right here. So, what I'm going to do is we're going to be listening to these CDs, okay? And I'm not going to touch anything. I want to just kind of get my ears acquainted to the sound. Once I do that, I am going to go ahead and insert my cable line, remove the Shonyara Sigma version 2, add my power cords, add my speaker cables, add the XLRs that I brought, okay, and listen. Then, once I do that, I'll begin to tweak the speakers an inch at a time, two inches at a time, to see what happens to the presentation, to see how much it can get out of the system. My reference point, as you know, is much higher than what he has. But I am very familiar with what this system is capable of doing, okay? So 
the intent. He has me here in his home to see if, hey, can you help me extract even more? Is this even feasible? Or am I pretty much maxed out with what I have built in here, right? Um, and we'll see. I mean, right now, I don't know. But what I'll tell you is, on a separate video, I will go ahead and put him front and center after we have done all the changes that I just mentioned. And we will have a one-on-one -on -one conversation to see what we got out of this exercise. So let's see what happens, guys. Okay. Stay tuned. Continue to support me. Please check out my website, jaysaudiolab.com. Okay. Become a member of my website. There is a lot more content behind the scenes from right here and from the previous setup that will never make it on YouTube. If you are interested on more things that I probably am doing right now that I'm not posting, and you wanna see those, consider becoming a member, okay? That's all I got for today. Be back soon, peace.